Hello, Sebastian Lacedo, and welcome to 5-Minute Fresh Start. I'm in Titus chapter 2, verse 11. It says, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodly and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people zealous unto good works. Speak these things, exhort, rebuke with all authority. Let no one despise you. And so here, <coughs> excuse me, we have a, you know, the grace of God. What is the grace of God? It's Jesus. In other words, you know, grace means a gift. It's unmerited favor. It's something that's given to you that you didn't earn. It's a gift. We didn't earn Jesus. He was a gift to humanity by God. So everything that Jesus went through, his life here on earth, his uh, uh, ministry, his death, burial, and resurrection, the whole process before the cross, all of the things that he endured to give us our salvation. You know, he was whipped. He was beaten. He was with a rod, whipped with uh, 39 cattails. He was uh, uh, slapped, spit on, his beard was plucked out. They put a crown of thorns on his head. Uh, they, you know, whipped him again and all of the false trials. Then he goes on the cross. God puts all of our sins, our iniquities, our transgressions, our shortcomings, our poverty, our sickness, all on him. And he pays a price for us. So for the grace of God, so that story, that gospel story, that brings salvation, because this gospel brings salvation, has appeared to all men, teaching us to deny ungodly and worldly lust. Now, the Bible is telling us here that it's God's grace that should teach us to, to live, uh, uh, you know, absent from, teaching us to deny the ungodliness, the worldly lust. We should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age. That God's grace should teach us to live obediently toward God. And that makes sense when you look at it because it's the gospel that brings salvation. But a lot of people don't connect the grace. They, just, they connect with Jesus and they believe that Jesus saved their sins, but they don't go to a, because here's the strength, the power of our knowledge of the gospel is what causes us to change. God did this for me, so I have to live this way. I can't live any other way. He paid for me. You know, so it's not fear, it's love. It's saying, I love you, God, because you did this, and I owe you my life as a living sacrifice because of what you did for me. My condition was I could never get to heaven. I was eternally damned. I would go to hell. But you saved me by paying this awesome price. And so that reality in the forefront of our mind, knowing what had to be done to get me and you individually, personally, to heaven, is what should tell us that we should live our life for Jesus and surrender. You know, there's too much compromise in the world, and that compromise is really an act of Satan. When you look at it, Satan compromised. God gave him his lot in life. God gave him his position. God gave him everything in his life. God created him and gave him creation to use it for his free will. But what did he want? He wanted more. He wanted to compromise away from God. He wanted to be like God. You know, we need to understand we can't do that. God gave Jesus for us. And therefore, Jesus, we live our whole life for. He owns me. He owns my assets. He owns everything in my life because he gave everything in his life for me. And so that should teach us, that should bring us into a new place in God. Amen. So thank you for watching today. Please share this with family and friends. And please, please, please go to our website, join us uh, on your, you know, let us join you on your journey to know God and his word. We have curriculum, workbooks, we have DVDs. It's all free. You can order for free. It's paid for by those who donate to us monthly, our partners. God bless you and have a great day. Thanks for watching.